Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my setup and pretty much talk you through the equipment I use and just touch on a few bits and bobs. Um, and I'm hoping that this is uh, helpful to you guys. So I film here in the white room and I just use natural light that comes in from the windows and it's diffused with uh, some voil and um, it just really um, you know, softens the light that comes in and creates a really nice uh, picture. So um, over here I have the chair I normally sit on and over there is my backdrop that you guys see in all my videos um, and that's usually blurred out and you can just see me focused in the video. So that's pretty much it. Um, you guys have seen the white room before. So here I have the camera that I use to film my videos. This is the Canon 5D Mark III and I've mounted a 35 millimeter lens on it because it gives that kind of bokeh and it's a fixed frame um, lens so it doesn't zoom, it's just fixed and so I just sit a couple of meters away from it and then focus myself. My tripod is an amazing tripod by Manfrotto and um, here we have uh, my microphone and this is the Zoom H4N microphone. So what I do is I uh, just press record on my microphone and I press record on my camera and then to sy uh, synchronize everything I clap three times and then in the edit because there's one file coming from here for sound and one file coming here f f uh, from here for picture I just synchronize everything um, in Final Cut Pro. So my camera doesn't come with a flip screen monitor um, however, it did come with software that I could use on my computer to actually view myself, which is what's on right now on my computer. It's called the Canon EOS uh, Utility. So as you can see, um, that's what the monitor looks like. And then when I sit there, I'm going to put my hand and show you. I sit there, I can actually just see myself in the monitor, make sure I'm in focus, make sure all the light's good and everything. This is usually better to use anyway if you do have a flip screen because you can see everything more clearer in the monitor. So down here is my gadget box which I keep um, around when I'm filming just so I can have access to things I need. Um, so for instance, I have all of the storage stuff in here, some memory cards, um, a hard drive and an adapter to actually put the memory cards into the computer. And here I have my lenses. Um, this is a 25, sorry, the 24 to 105 lens, and that's 50 millimeter. I have the lens cap for the 35 millimeter, which is on the actual camera. Um, my microphone, sorry, my uh, remote control. Um, my charger for my battery for my um, camera. Um, these are headphones and my iPad. So it's pretty straightforward. I usually press record on the computer, so I'm going to like hit record right now and then I'm going to record like a little clip of my hand so you can see. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then the footage is on the SD card. So I plug in my SD card into this adapter thing and then I transfer the file onto my hard drive and the hard drive I use is by WD, um, WD Elements, you can get this in the Apple Store on Amazon a few other places. It's really important to have a hard, a hard drive just because the memory on the, the computer can get quite full and having hard drives to edit and store your um, footage and like your photographs and stuff is um, much easier and more efficient. So this is Final Cut Pro, this is what I use to edit my um, videos. And all I do is I open up the library and I have it in my Passport 4, which is my hard drive. And I'm currently editing this video for you guys, which is the how to YouTube one. I just open it up and then right here I have all of the footage from the video. And then this down here is the file, um, the sound file. And what I do is I just put the sound file down there and I line it up with the image because can you see the little sound waves there? And it just has identical sound waves to the sound bit. And then I toggle it a bit and then I just edit the video um, by cutting it and um, you know removing bits that I don't need. And that's what it looks like. And then when I'm done, I just export it to YouTube. Obviously editing is way more, you know, <laughs> technical than just me talking about it in like two seconds and obviously I've learned how to do this over over a couple of years but um, if you have any questions about that let me know if you want an in-depth video 
um, maybe I'll do one in the future but that's pretty much how my whole setup is it's actually a very simple setup I use natural light I use just a camera um, a mic and um, editing software to actually edit the video thank you so much for watching guys I hope you found this helpful and make sure you check out the other part where I discuss um, some tips on how to be a youtuber